Wildfires in Colorado have become more frequent, more intense, and more complex, putting lives and communities at risk when wildfires occur. Since the year 2000, wildfires have burned more than 1,500 square miles in Colorado and taken more than 2,300 structures with them. Colorado has 371,000 properties at high or extreme risk to wildfire, making Colorado the third most at-risk state. Approximately half of Colorado's 5.7 million residents lives in the wildland urban interface, which are built-up areas that are vulnerable to wildfire. This risk is also the case here in Jefferson County, where more than a third of the county is at high or highest risk for wildfire. Jefferson County's warm and dry climate, paired with an increase in population living within or next to our wildlands, are a recipe for turning even a small wildfire into one that takes homes, businesses, and lives. Wildfires in Jefferson County are not a question of if, but when. And when those fires occur, the real question is how well prepared are you? If you choose to live near a natural area, you are at risk for wildfires, and it's your responsibility to prepare yourself, your family, and your home. Getting ready before wildfire happens is a vital first step, because once there is smoke in the air, it is too late. Preparing your home for wildfire can be simple, but by taking steps now, you are giving your home a chance against an approaching wildfire. The next two videos will show you how to make a complete wildfire risk reduction puzzle by hardening your home to wildfire, as well as creating defensible space around your home. Home hardening and defensible space are each their own puzzles, which we will show you how to complete. Hardening your home is reducing the ignitability from flying embers, direct flame contact, and radiant heat sources, and reducing flammable materials near your home. Creating a defensible space establishes a buffer between buildings and wildland areas that is meant to reduce the intensity of a fire.